aprons on, let's go. You're gonna need three to four pound chuck roast or a bottom round beef roast, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Let your roast rest at room temperature for at least 15 minutes before searing. Add olive oil to the pressure cooker and hit the saute button. Season the roast with the salt, pepper, and onion powder. You'll sear the roast on all the sides. Sprinkle with the A juice packet over the roast, then pour the beer. Close the lid and make your pressure release valve to set to sealing. Here's the key. Turn your pressure cooker to meat slash stew function and set the time to 100 minutes. That's right, 100 minutes. After the 100 minutes cooking time is complete, let the pressure cooker release naturally for 25 minutes. Then you'll turn the valve to venting to release any of the excess pressure. Okay, then you're gonna take it out and start shredding. In a bowl, you're gonna combine three tablespoons of melted butter and one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. Brush over your bread. You can use hoagie rolls, I've done that, or you can use French bread. Both are really good. So brush over the rolls and broil under low heat for three to four minutes, just until golden brown. Then pile the meat onto the bread and top with provolone cheese. Return to the broiler and heat just until the cheese has started to melt. And then you'll just top the sandwiches with freshly chopped parsley. Now this can also be made in your slow cooker. Just sear your meat in a skillet and place inside your slow cooker with the a juice and beer and cook on low for eight hours. Now you're left in your pressure cooker all the yummy juices that you could dip your sandwich in. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.